What's up everyone? Today's video is going to cover three of the biggest mistakes that beginner wildlife photographers make. These are mistakes that I myself made and witnessed lots of other people make. Mistake number one is shooting too tight. It's so easy to get caught shooting at a single focal length and this is often one of your longest focal lengths. Beginner wildlife photographers get caught shooting their animal subjects too tight and not incorporating the animal's environment. By shooting wider and including some of the animal's environment, you are telling a story. The viewer is able to read the story of the photograph and it's so much more powerful than a standard documentary type shot. This is a type of picture that is shown in a book or a website to better describe the animal. Shooting at different focal lengths will also expand your portfolio with different photographs. Coming in at number two is shooting too shallow. This refers to the depth of field. When I started photographing wildlife, I shot on aperture priority and often left my aperture at its largest value. This firstly gave all my photos a very similar look and secondly was sometimes too shallow. This problem got worse when I upgraded to an f2.8 lens and often had the issue of the animal's eyes out of focus because the depth of field was just far too shallow. Make sure to change up your aperture as the situation allows for it. Once again, this will give you a better and more diverse portfolio. And last but not least is a beginner wildlife photographer making unnecessary gear upgrades. Too many people want to upgrade their gear in the hopes that their photos will miraculously become better. If there is a specific restriction limiting you on your current gear, like focal length, frame rate, or maximum aperture, then it is worth considering an upgrade. But in most cases, it is far better to spend your money and time getting to know your current setup in depth and learning more about the aspects of photography. If you're a beginner wildlife photographer, let me know in the comments below what gear you use and what challenges you face.